Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Tribal Hunter. In the last episode, we finished the rest of Dark Dread's castle, defeated Lord Dark Dread. But it seems we found a secret in his castle, way down in the depths below, where an evil spirit was being sealed, controlling Dark Dread and his minions. But thanks to Munch, he managed to set that seal free so that we can finally try to take care of it, once and for all. And this episode, we are now going to head back up to the top of the mountain so that we can go take care of that evil spirit that was released. But first, we got ghost minions. Uh oh. Man, this will take some time. Cannonball! What was that? <laughs> Whoa, Dark Dread. You again. Ah, seems like you were having trouble with those. Yeah. What gives, though? Why are you even here? I got slammed with a wave of understanding after the seal got broken. The bug in my ear tugging at my brain vanished, and I was able to evaluate. I guess I was being taken advantage of all along. That pesky spirit has to go, and I think you're the one who can do it, Guardian. That's the plan. At least I think so. I could have made an equally large mistake of defying, by defying the spirit. Nonsense. Spirit is a wild force, but calming it down in its freedom is probably the best choice. I'm sure you though I'm sure you thought your role was to contain it. But no, now is your time to shine. You were gifted a part of the island's power out of desperation. The island wants you to save it from destroying itself, like a true guardian. I see. Well, go on. You have a mission. Old Birdo is waiting for you just up ahead to take you to the sacred plateau where she awaits. Put the nail in the coffin so I can finally spar with you for real. So that's cool. Even the final, the supposedly final boss gets to help us. He is now on our side, uh -huh. so he's no longer being controlled. Oh, you are back. Uh -huh. Because I trusted Yissy all along. <laughs> Never count us out. I need you to take me back up to the mountain right away. Uh -huh. Would I go back? <laughs> like the island could still be saved. <laughs> I could feel the spirit waiting for me to confront her. <laughs> well, I guess you have all of our support then. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to go. I'm ready to go now. Although if you try to go behind him, it won't let you. Invisible barrier blocks the way. <laughs> ready to go, Guardian? <laughs> Make sure you're completely ready. Let's go. The entrance to the ancient path. Uh, uh, uh. Here, this path is the only way to the mountain now. Uh, uh, uh. I read about it from an old book store in Birdman's office. Uh, uh, uh. The other ways are all crowded with those weird monsters. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not exactly sure where this path leads to, but hopefully it's to the mountain's peak. <laughs> Alright, thank you. I'll see what uh, uh, I can do. The others are still fine to protect the village. Uh, 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 uh. I'll let them know about where you went, and we'll try to send help if possible. Uh, uh, uh. Use the statue here if you need to go back to the village. Oh, speaking of statues... So one of the another one of those that kind of looks like me. Anyway, heading in. Oh, it's with all these spirit-looking things. They're all watching me. This almost feels like a horror game now. Uh oh, why is my vision getting blurry? And blurry and brighter at the same time. What the? Is that who I think it is? What? Super Cow? From the TV show? Aha! It is good to see you, Hero. I've been eagerly waiting. Are you real? Or is it just my imagination? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. The important thing is that I'm here to help your cause. <laughs> That's so cool! Come and enjoy my infinite power of super milk. So yeah, Super Cow is here from the TV show. It's kind of cool, though. If you jump on him, he gives you, like, infinite supply of milk. So now you no longer have to go back to the village in order to do it. So it still feels a little weird just bouncing on top of his head. Alright, that should be enough. We're gonna be dealing with some new enemies we've had. Once there's like shadow forms of enemies. 
like a Shadow Mountain pig fighter. Let's call, I call him Shadow Fighter. And then they just disintegrate when you defeat them. Still give you experience points. You also gotta watch out for these platforms because they disintegrate if you stay on them too long. Oh, Shadow Hammer. You also notice that their attack patterns are a little different compared to their original forms. Also, a Shadow Fencer. Shadow Archer. Shadow Knight. Also, the Shadow Knight leaves a fire trail now. Well, that's a cool attack. I wish I could do that. There we go, get rid of them. Because they grant quite a lot of experience points for defeating them. Lots of shadow minions. These must be coming from the spirit of darkness that was released. Ow. Fortunately, they're quite tough. And of course, Super Cow would immediately teleport to the nearest checkpoint you're at. What else have we got? Oh. Thanks to the great tree being... <clears throat> Thanks to the great tree. Be praised. Who knew this island could be such a nice place? It's probably because of that giant tree in the heart of it. That must be it. it must be some kind of magical tree. It seems to encourage the crops to grow well. It's probably right. We should praise the tree god. Tree god? Is that what the spirit is? There's a little lever up there that I can't reach. Ooh, Shadow Pirates. Yeah, Shadow Swordfish. Oh, Shadow Worker Cannon here. Oh boy, lots of enemies now. Oh yeah, that's another thing about this place. You see those, like, tree, those circle branch things? They will shoot projectiles at you. There we go. It's all the enemies in this room. Oh, now we have, uh, holy slimes. Ooh, shadow double hail. If the Shadow Devil Hams don't drop food to stuff you up. That's what the Holy Slimes are for. Keep going over here. Yeah, see, look at that. I'm now already at 3,000 experience points, so... If you weren't able to unlock those uh, abilities before, that you couldn't unlock before, then now's the time to do it. Throw those chickens pretty fast. <laughs> there we go, body slam. And activate that checkpoint. I can actually get back up there. Rear that projectile so it doesn't hit me. Take a more shadow pirates. Holy slime walls. 
because the stupid things are shooting, still shooting projectiles. Another puffer, shadow pufferfish. So many shadow pirates. So I guess where we are kind of technically is kind of like a secret bonus world if you actually make it here. I call this world the spirit world, because there's nothing but spirits here. Tall Canyon. Also, I need to increase my abilities now in here. There we go, almost level 60 now. Feel so much stronger. Oh, what the? Oh, shadow dragons! And a shadow dragon knight. Ow! At least they can still be fat eggs to defeat them. Like so. Dang, that's pretty powerful though. That was close. Come on, try and breathe fire again. Oh, he's loving that sword attack. Okay, that's it. There we go, finally got rid of you. Oh, shadow ninjas. Or shadow wolf ninjas. And now throw three knives that follow you instead of just one. I got the mushrooms. There we go. Oh boy, another shadow dragon. There you go, have an egg. <laughs> Funny how even the spirits like eggs. Hey, more of these ninjas that I hate. Okay, good, another checkpoint. I'm starting to run low on L. Zarstar's starting start to run low on energy, too. Give me some more of that delicious super milk. There we go. Because now I can get some more eggs. Another dra shadow dragon knight. Yeah, shadow dragon up there. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. to you. Okay, let's heal up again. Thank you, Super Cow. At least with these enemies, if you defeat them with eggs, they still drop your experience points. This guy's pretty mean, though. Ow! Oh yeah, that's another thing about the, the shadow projectiles. They fill you with air. I need to go heal again. Where's that healing platform? 
There it is. Okay, get some more super milk. Alright, let's try to go back up again. There you go. Ow. Come on. There you go. Have an egg. Ow. Go suck an egg. <laughs> Why are there so many of these dumb shadow ninjas? Ow. I keep having to remember that their blades are piercing attacks. Anyway, he's taken care of. There we go, get a little bit stronger. Flowering downspout. Oh, another one of these. So, that's how we extract power from the tree. It's a miracle, I must say. We can expand our town much larger with this blessing. But, are you sure this is safe? We don't know if the tree's energy source is limited. In our studies so far, the tree has been blessing our village for generations. I don't think it has such a limit. I hope so. But what if it did? What were they gonna do? Guess we gotta keep going to find out. Oh boy, another room full of enemies. Okay, archers. Let's go back to the shadow fake minions again. Fencer, fighter. And a hammer. Those are these dumb projectiles that keep peering out of nowhere. Let's get some help back. Shabbo Devil Ham. Okay, let's move on. More of these steel crates. Another Devil Ham. Or Shadow Devil Ham. They all just disintegrate. Back to the depths from which you came. Shadow Fencer. Oh, a holy slime plant. Shadow Archer. Moving on down here, we got more enemies. Go to you. You. Dang it. Oh, that Pig Knight's still up there. Sixty-three out of a hundred. <laughs> the Bridge of Faith. Yay! Super guy's back. Let's get rid of some of this excess air. Oh, another shadow hammer. Shadow pig enemies. Hope I don't run to those shadow ninjas again. At least the shadow dragons can be defeated with eggs. Ow. There we go, get rid of you. Ah, 
Ow. Ow. Seriously, the fence are so mean. Shadow Hammer. The Shadow Orcher and move on. First get the experience points from him. Because if you go off screen before they like actually disappear, then you don't get the experience points. The Protected Cavern. Clutters, you say? Yes. Unfortunately, it seems like we've been using the Great Tree's energy far too much. It's kind of a negative reflection. It's been stacking for generation, and it's at a dangerously peaking level. Do you have any solution? Me and my team are trying to our best to fix this. To start, you should not use any more of the tree's magic anymore. That's impossible! Did you get approval from our queen? Do you know what chaos this would cause to our city? We need magic. You must find another solution, quickly. I... I'll try. I'm afraid our dependence and misuse will bring forth a great disaster. Okay, so that's kind of like what the people in the... So those spirits are actually the people from the Shadowlands. Because they were talking about how they were using the Great Tree's magic. So it's kind of explaining how that ancient city fell to ruin. Oh boy, more Shadow Pirates. So we're kind of learning a little bit of backstory as we're going through here. Backstory about the island itself. Yeah, you're both fish. The holy slimes. Pretty fast to attack with their swords. Oh, those cannonballs have a laser pattern that goes off and it explodes. Okay, I'll get rid of you guys. So, yeah, a lot of the shadow enemies have different patterns than the normal ones do. And apparently, they're a lot harder. Still kind of easy to defeat, though. Yeah, and they, the swordfish kind of like spin around in a spiky pattern, and not just straight on. Also, the pufferfish now have a triple shot. Projectile. Music's kind of peaceful in here, though. All these pink leaves. I almost wish you to think that this place is some sort of bonus level. It's more just like a hidden world, or a hidden level. And this world can only be accessed if you get, if you, like, destroy the seal. More yellow hams. These holy slimes. The trek to the summit. We're getting close. We're just not close enough. At least not right now. More super milk. Thank you, Super Cow. What a cool superhero. Just keep getting stronger. More shadow pirates. So, yeah, that's the reason they call it the Tall Canyon, because it takes a while to get all the way up. Oh, 
Oh, you're kidding me. There's even shadow worker bees. Why'd you have to include bees as a shadow enemy? There we go, get rid of those bees. Another worker bee. There we go, get rid of you. I guess I can use the fireballs to get rid of them too. Ooh, shadow honey bears. <laughs> they can still be fat eggs. Just like their regular counterparts. There we go, get rid of those bees. And there's yet another. The worst kind of bees. Shadow bees. I don't even know why there's a mushroom there. <laughs> there we go. That was close. It's also kind of funny is sometimes the bees go through walls. The shadow bees do. And the only way you can tell where they are is by that little shadow mark that they leave in the wall. So it kind of reminds me of Dig Dog, how the monsters there can do that as well. He's gonna make it fun with all these mushrooms. A little bit less exhausting, too. Ow. You. Let's try it. will try to hit me. There's another bear up there. Shadow bears. Oh, that's just me, I don't need that. However, I'm out of energy. There we go, that's better. Alright. Of course, there's another freaking bee. I get to... Yeah, that one bear went all the way down here. There you go. There we go, get rid of you. And get rid of you too. More shadow bears. <laughs> there you go. Hey, more bees! It's going crazy with the bee enemies now. There we go. Finally got rid of all those enemies. There's quite a lot of them. Yeah. Anyway, the test of perseverance. Oh, got two new spirits. One looks like me, and one looks like... Is that Dark Dread? Even with our help, it was too much to handle. It cost too much. I did everything I could, but couldn't save all the people. Our city is tainted, engulfed, and lost. Only a few survivors could escape the city. Most of them left the island for good. I can watch over the seal. And even I cannot live forever. I'm afraid that if I cannot fulfill my duty, I will be forgotten for generations. We will find a way. Perhaps someone in the future will inherit our will and finish what we couldn't. Maybe one of my descendants can do it. Or maybe someone even greater. Someone even greater? You mean like Munch? Maybe? So yeah, for the test of perseverance, yeah, you got these three dope with these laser gates that are blocking your way. So based off of this map, you gotta go through all of these different areas to find the three levers that are blocking your path. So 
First, let's get some milk energy so we can prepare for what enemies are up ahead. Because believe in this room, there's a mix of different enemies. If you start going over this way, you'll see Shadow Devil Hams. And Shadow Bears. Another shadow bear. And another shadow bee. There we go. Yeah, and that thing's gonna start shooting projectiles at me now. Holy slimes, they don't fill you with, like, uh, slime or anything. They fill you with, uh, normal fat energy. Kinda weird that they don't fill you with ghost energy. Also surprised there are no ghost enemies here, either. Other than the, the shadow forms of the enemies. There we go. Ow. More bees. Ow. They're just worker bees, and I'm surprised not to turn to like the drone ones. Anyway, there's the second switch. And the last switch is down here. Of course, there's more bees standing in my way. More shadow bears. Then we're gonna see more of the dragon enemies. I know why, but I kinda wanna see them more. I think the dragon enemies are pretty cool. Ow. Stupid bullets that come out of nowhere. Last switch. So yes, we have passed three switches. I believe there should be one more room up ahead after this. First, we gotta get past more of these walls. Full of the holy slimes. There we go. And yeah, another one. How weird how the slimes don't give you experience points. Anyway, here we are. The final climb. So yes, once we make it to the top of this room, we'll be able to face off against the spirit. But actually, I think we're going to go ahead and save that for the next episode. So, next time on Tribal Hunter, we are going to make it through the final climb, and then make it to the spirit so we can finally face down once and for all. See you guys on the other side.